Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com and if you're watching this video, I can only assume that your Mac or PC, like me, is running out of hard drive space and you want to find the largest files on your hard drive to go ahead and save you a ton of space. Well, let's jump right into it. In this video, I'm going to be doing it on Mac OS X, showcasing the utility known as Grand Perspective. However, for you Windows users who are watching this for you on PC, Windows 7, or what have you, Winderstat is an equivalent SourceForge tool that is available completely free. You can download this at winderstat.info. This is essentially the same thing that Grand Perspective will do. This will give you a visual overview of the biggest files in a sort of tree map view that are on your hard drive or a specific folder that you designate, so your C drive or what have you. And you can easily comb through these files to go ahead and delete the largest files. Or again, the Windows equivalent, go ahead and download this and simply scan the drive or folder that you want to find the largest files. Back to the Mac OS X side of things, this is Grand Perspective, again, a free tool that will do the same thing. It will give you a visual overview of all the big files in your hard drive so you can easily manage your disk and delete the apps or what have you that are taking up a ton of space. So when you first launch Grand Perspective, this is how it works. It's going to go ahead and ask you to scan a folder. In this case, I'm scanning my entire Macintosh HD hard drive. You can scan an external drive. You can scan a specific folder like your downloads or your documents. And then from there, depending on how large that folder or drive is, you want to give it some time to go ahead and scan through and map out the drive. So once the scan's complete here, you can see you get the block view of everything that's taking up space, in this case, on my hard drive. Now, the smaller the blocks are, the smaller the actual files are in terms of file size. The bigger the blocks, the bigger the file size. So in this case, you can see this big block right here is representative of a 20.3 gig file. In this case, it's my virtual machine for Windows 8. So you can see that in the very bottom there. As you hover over it, it gives you an a root directory of what the file is so you know and how much space it's taking up. Now these quadrants, so for example this red quadrant right here represents my documents folder. You can see it outlines it here. So I can choose to jump into this folder itself. I can actually focus in this folder by zooming in so you can see now I get an overview of just my documents folder or zoom out again to look at my entire hard drive. I can focus at files only within this quadrant so I can focus down or I can focus up, which is essentially going out and towards the entire hard drive. You can see the more I focus up here. So you can go within folders or you can go again, a bigger overview of everything going on here. Now you also have the option to open a file, reveal a file, or of course delete the file and completely move it to the trash if that's what you want to do. Additionally, you hit the drawer here. This will give you more information about the drive that you're viewing here. Uh, you can see the display and the focus depending on what you're looking at. So again, it makes it really easy to narrow down files here and, and see what's really taking up a ton of space and then from there delete something. So again, if I wanted to delete something within this folder here, if I close my drawer here, I'm going to go ahead and focus down into this folder here. So you can see this video right here. If I want to delete this, this is only 190 megabytes. Let's go ahead and delete something a little bit bigger. This video right here. I can choose to reveal it in Finder if I wanted to, to delete it that way. So I can actually go into my documents folder. And then from there, I can just move it to my trash. Or again, I can delete it within Grand Perspective, however I want to go about doing that. Once you delete files, once you move around things, if you want to get an updated view, you can simply hit rescan and it'll give you a new overview of the files uh, to view. It's that easy, that simple. This helps you really easily designate those big files on your hard drive, whether you're using Grand Perspective or Winderstat on the Windows end to go ahead and delete those large files and save a ton of space in the process. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the corresponding article in the video description down below for more links and digitaldojos.com in general for more great content on technology, business, and lifestyle. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.